Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Hope. But don't just sit there, treasures. Come on, let's have fun. What's Granny Murray got on her shelves today? We're going to make rosettes and stick our rosettes on the umbrella to make it look cheery. Top. That's a girl. Stick the rosettes. Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Hope. But someone's missing from home today. <laughs> Not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Who's that? Oh, it's Rebecca <laughs> with Mickey John. Hello there! Mickey John! <laughs> Hello! Hello my and you're Rebecca! Come away through my honey pie! Do by yourself? Oh, wow! I've never seen my old Broly look so amazing! Oh, they're out of the starting blocks early today, aren't they? <laughs> and speaking of starting blocks, I've organised a race in the park for the children this afternoon. Oh, thanks, Mickey John! What for? For giving me an idea for Claude's costume. What about we all dress Claude up in a racing outfit? And why don't we race over there? Ready, steady, go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you think Claude can take part in the race? Well, he certainly looks the part, but he'd probably be better off watching the race with me from the top of the hill. Watching? You mean you're not racing? No, I'm commentating on the race for all the people who turn up to watch. Well, I hope you've got a loud voice, because that's a big hill. Yeah, well, I thought about that. I'm going to use a megaphone to make sure that everyone can hear what I say. <laughs> Listen. Get ready, get set, and they're off! <laughs> Streaming across the start line and running towards the hill. Oh, go racers! The race leader heads towards the top of the hill at double speed, turning around at the marker and heading back down towards the waiting finish line. But what's this? Moving through the field, it's Claude! Look at him go! Zigzagging through the racers and heading like a champion down towards the finish line. Oh, what exactly! Excitement! <laughs> You'll make a great race organiser. Yeah, well, I'd better race off if I want to get to school on time. <laughs> oh, Claude! <laughs> oh, <laughs> very sporty, Claude. Oh, yes, he'd certainly give you a run for your money, Mickey John, and the sporty stakes. <laughs> yes, very good. <laughs> well done, you Here lot. Yeah. What's this? For me? Oh, it's a special race organiser's rosette. Great. I'll certainly stand out in a crowd when I wear this. Oh, yes. Sometimes it's important to know who is who. Yes. Hi, Rebecca. Hey. Hi. Have a good time with Granny Murray. Come on, then. <laughs> now remember, sometimes it's important to know who's who. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Hey! OK, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! OK, right, to the school I'm on my way to work today Looking this way and that away Hello, Ali! Hello, doors! Hello, steeple! Hello, walls! Hello, people! He's on his way to work today Loving this way and that away Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! OK, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? Ah, yes. 
Time for a tie. All snazzy and ready to go. Hi, Mickey John. Hi, Raymond. Just popped in to see if everything's ready for the big event. Oh, yes. I think we can be guaranteed a fine day in the park. The park? But I thought the classroom would be big enough. I can't see many people coming to a hill race if we hold it in hill my... Hill race? No, I'm talking about the surprise play we're putting on for the children today. Oh, of course, your play. Yes, everything's ready for the play. I'm sure the children will love it. Great. You can relax then. Oh, well, I don't know about relax. You see, I'm commentating on the race as well. Listen. And there goes Teddy and his mate Tom as they run over the top of the hill. Was that too loud? No, no, perhaps not loud enough. I can show you how to project your voice, if you'd like me to. Oh, no need to worry. I've got the perfect cure for that sort of thing right here. And here we are, in the River Sea Fingal for the most exciting race I've ever seen. How's that? Perfect. Oops, time's moving on. I better go and get the props ready for my play. See you later, Mickey John. See you, Raymond. And here they come. Look at them running in neck and neck. It's a fight to the finish. First things first, the register. Now, where's that pen? Ooh. Ooh. I wonder how Rebecca's getting on at Granny Murray's. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingle, River Sea Bingle, that's for me. Bye-bye, Claire. Have a lovely day. <laughs> right, now it's time for us to have fun. Who wants to go to the park? <laughs> me too. Come on, my lovelies. Now stay close to Granny Murray. Not that you'll miss me with my big flowery umbrella. <gasps> and I'm sure your dad will be easy to spot Rebecca with his lovely rosette you gave him. <laughs> Come on then. <laughs> What are you doing in school, Daddy? Cameron? Here. Hannah? Here. Oh, Mickey John. Hi, Tina. I just wondered if I could leave this box of hats with you. It's, um, it's for the play that Raymond and I are performing for the children later. Yes, of course. What's the play going to be about, Tina? It's a fairy tale, Cinderella. Who does this one belong to? The giant that lives at the top of the beanstalk? <laughs> yes, there's no giants in Cinderella, Mickey John. This belongs to the handsome prince. Oh, hello, my good man. I'm handsome Prince Percy. Um, you, you should be able to know who everyone in the play is just by the hat they're wearing. That's great. So, this must be Cinderella. Has anyone seen my slipper? I'd stick to teaching if I were you, Mickey John. Yes, I think you're <laughs> probably right, Tina. Speaking of which, i better act like a teacher and get back to work. Oh, I work with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps her shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue While the cookie cooks and serves a stew Answering the questions where and why How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. Lunch will be a little bit later today. The reason for this is that we are going to be entertained by Tina and Raymond's travelling theatre company. And as soon as the other actors arrive... Uh, uh, other actors? <laughs> there are no other actors in the play. <laughs> We're it. <laughs> But how can you play all the people in Cinderella? How will we know who's who? Watch. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated and enjoy with us the quick fire story of Cinderella. Oh dear, I'm Cinderella and I'm very upset because I'm sick of living with my nasty sisters. Hey Cinders, polish this floor. Yes, Gertrude. Hey Cinders, scrub my shoes. <laughs> yes, Greco. <laughs> It's a postman. Just the one letter for you oh. from Prince Charming. <laughs> ah, it's an invitation to a ball. I'll have that. Scrub the kitchen. We're going to the ball. Uh, bye. Uh, I wish I was going to the ball and I could dance with Prince Charming. Spring. Dearest Cinderella, I am your fairy godmother. <gasps> you shall go to the ball. Oh, shall I? But what about my clothes? Spring. Oh, thank you, fairy godmother. I just feel so beautiful. Be back by midnight. Oh, what a lovely ball. No, oh, what a lovely handsome prince. May I have the pleasure? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Bong! Oh, midnight the magic will end. Bye, prince. Hey, you forgot your schlupper. <laughs> Whoever shall fetch the schlupper, I shall marry. Oh, <laughs> I think it'll fit my dainty wee toes. Oh, uh, look, it fits perfectly. Me charming darling. <laughs> then we shall be married. And live, live happily, happily ever after. after. Oh, that was great. <laughs> Perfect timing. That's your one o'clock lunch call, class. No lunch for me. I got a race to organise. Hey, Mickey John, don't forget your megaphone. Thanks, Raymond. I definitely need that. And my rosette from Rebecca. Rain, rain, go away, come back again another day. What? <laughs> well done. Rain, rain, go away, come back again another day. What? Wow, that was great fun. You know, Rebecca, you and Dad will soon let us run in the hill race, won't he? <laughs> Two o'clock, time for the race to begin. The runner should easily spot me with my race rosette. But oh dear, they might be able to spot me, but how am I going to spot them? And how will I tell which runner is which? They all look the same with their black shorts and white tops. Oh, I've been working hard all day to make sure this race is well organized. What have I done wrong? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's. All the children were busy decorating Granny Murray's umbrella with colourful paper flowers. At eight o'clock, I arrived at work. Raymond popped in and gave me a hand with my diction in preparation for my commentary for the race. At nine o'clock, the school children arrived for their lesson. Tina popped in to leave the hats for the surprise play I'd asked her and Raymond to perform for the class. At 12 o'clock, the play started. It told the story of Cinderella, and Tina and Raymond played the parts of all the different characters with the help of a pile of different hats. We broke for lunch at one o'clock, and I raced to the park to organize everything for the Castle Park Hill race at two o'clock. But when I arrived, all the racers looked the same. Now remember, sometimes it's important to know who's who. I knew who was who in Cinderella because Tina and Raymond wore different hats. So if I want to know who's who in the race, they can all wear different hats. Attention everyone, the hill race will be delayed for the temporary hat break. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end. Because he knows what he should do, I'm working through. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, 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 there comes Jeff Hat on the left hand side, and there's all pink floppy hats. He's passing there, and it's Cowboy and Cloud and Neck and Neck on the very side. It's a draw. Oh, fantastic draw. Well done, everyone. <laughs> Let me see. This 
one for Rachel and this one for Rebecca. <laughs> that looks just like your dad's rosette. Hi, Granny Murray. Ha <laughs> <laughs> come away through. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Hey, have you had a lovely time? Yes. You bet we have. Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, my girl. Oh, clever girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying sometimes it's important to remember who's who. Save the day. Well, I never did. <laughs> come on, let's get you home. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, grinding, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things, and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <laughs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as a runner, as it was a sporty sort of day. He decorated my old brolly with lovely paper flowers so that everyone could see where I was. Then we went to the botanical gardens where we played the rain, rain, go away game. <laughs> Later, everyone was awarded a winner's rosette for all the running they did. Mickey John's race was a great success too because he realised how sometimes it is important to know who's who. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got who? And we've got Robbie. But don't just sit there, puppets. Come on, let's have some fun. <gasps> What's Granny Murray got on her shelves today? <laughs> Looks your hope as well, you see. It's like a wee watch. That used to be my granddad's watch. He was a guard on the steam trains. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> This is why I was in fashion in the 60s, you know. Oh, I used to wear this when I went to the dancing. <laughs> well, we've got Hope and we've got Robbie. Someone's missing from home today. <laughs> oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? It's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. Say hello to Rebecca, everyone. Come on, Angel. Come and see some of the things we've been playing with. Oh, what a lot of spangly things. You'd have to be brave to wear some of those. Oh, I know someone who's brave enough to wear them. Why don't you all dress Claude up with all the sparkly beads? You know, I love looking at the old things people have collected over the years. I'm a bit of a squirrel myself, you know, <laughs> storing things away. Let's hide ourselves over here, Mickey John. Come on. <laughs> I'm always saving things from places I've been and little mementos of things I've done. Here, take a look at this. Oh. This is a ticket from a pantomime that I went to see when I was a little boy. Goody Two Shoes. That was the title of the show. And the best part was the Dagenham Girl Pipers playing in front of a real waterfall. Amazing. <laughs> That's a trip down memory lane. <laughs> And over the hill. <laughs> All right. Oh, taking the children on a trip down memory lane myself today. We're going to the Transport Museum in Helen's Bridge. Oh, you lucky thing. I've always wanted to go there. Here, why don't you try and get out and about a bit more with the children from your class? Getting out and about is such a treat. <laughs> oh, look at Claude. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Claude, you look dazzling. He certainly is the bling bling king. <laughs> well done, you guys. Daddy. And what's this? What is it? An old coin? You take it and show your class, Mickey John. You can bring it back another day. Oh, are you sure? Oh, yes. Thanks, Granny Murray. See you later, Rebecca. Bye bye. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Come on. Now remember, 
getting out and about is such a treat. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye-bye, my dad, and I'll be thinking of you. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know can you show me the way I go? Hey! Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Looking this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple! Hello, walls! Hello, people! He's on his way to work today Looking this way and that away hey! Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! OK, that way! Up! You told me the way to go Thank you! You show me the way I know Here I am right. Now what? Thanks, I need to put my tie on All snazzy and ready to go I'm just in time I've got a great lesson for you today. All right, come on, have a look over here. Now, who can tell me what this is? Yes. An iron. It's an iron, yes. It's not like an iron we have now, is it? Now, that's more like the iron we know, isn't it? Who would like to have a look at this old and new iron? Yes. There you go. Right. What's that? Oh, I think my mobile phone's ringing. Hello? <laughs> See, it's not a mobile phone at all. So we've gone from this to this. Yes, now, uh, what's that there I see on the desk? Computer. Yes, it's a computer, isn't it? You can use that for writing. And can you think of anything at all that you might use for writing messages? A typewriter. Ah, good man. Good man. Typewriter. Who wants this? Yeah. Oh, careful. Do you know, you look so amazing with all your old and new things, I'd like to take a photo of you. Now, what have we got? Look at this. This is a very old, old camera. That's more like what a camera's like now. Now, who wants these? Over there, because you haven't got any. Right. Now, you've all got paper on your desks, and I want you to draw a picture of something old and something new. I wonder if Granny Murray's taken Rebecca on the train to the Transport Museum. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo by the sea. I love to skip in River Sea Bingo, River Sea Bingo, that's for me. Ooh, Granny Murray! Hello, <laughs> We're going to the Transport Museum on Helen's Bridge. Oh, lucky you. I hear it's really good. There's lots of old things to look at. Actually, I was just about to make some old-fashioned lemonade. Would you all like to try some? Yeah! Oh, me too! <laughs> <laughs> Lemons! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Madame, like to try some? Oh, thank you very much. 
Very refreshing. <laughs> oh, Rebecca, I wonder if your dad's having a nice refreshing drink at school just now. I can see your daddy. Some of these pictures are really special. Look at this picture of an old-fashioned plane. It's brilliant. Oh, is that the time? The children will be back from their break any second. Time to crack on with some hard work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teach them with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach it. Teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. School day, work I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. The secretary's smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes and the cleaner keeps us shining Oh, what with joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves us stew Answering the questions where and why, how does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I work with joy when I go to school in the morning. Raymond! Hi, MG. Are you ready to take my publicity still? Your what? My... Oh, your uh, picture for... Um... My one-man show! About John Hopsworth, the first man to circumnavigate River Sea Fingal on a bicycle. Completely slipped my mind. I'll just go and get my camera. Right. Now, you stand here and I'll take the photos. From here. <laughs> okay. Right then. Look dignified. Lovely. Good stuff. Now, hands on the handlebars if you want riding it. Now, wagging your moustache. That'll be funny. Doff your hat like a real gentleman. There'll be plenty of those you can use. I'll email the best ones to you later. Oh, thanks. See you later. I wonder how my Rebecca's getting on. <laughs> Two decks. Look at the funny stairs going up. Do you see them? <laughs> oh, look over there. Granny Murray's favourite. An old steam train. I've been on one. You have not, have you? Oh, Daddy's been on an old steam train. Look at the buffers. Do you see the circles, the buffers? And the size of the wheels. Oh, look at that, guys. <gasps> Horses would pull that tram. There's no engine. Do you see that, Rebecca? Your dad would love to be here, wouldn't he? Fun, Daddy. Oh, will you look at the time? I promised the children a treat this afternoon and I haven't done anything about it. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's. The children were looking at a lot of old things that brought back some memories for Granny Murray. I told Granny Murray that I was giving my class a special lesson today all about looking at old things and new things. At nine o'clock, the lesson began. The children were fascinated looking at all the old things and trying to see how they worked. Then the children drew pictures of old-fashioned planes, old cars and telephones. At 12 o'clock, it was time to stop working and have a break for lunch. I was so pleased with the children's brilliant work, I promised them a treat for the afternoon. Raymond stopped by, wearing a fantastic old-fashioned outfit. I'd completely forgotten, but I was supposed to be taking his photograph. And by the time I'd finished captioning Raymond in all his glory, it was one o'clock and I hadn't prepared anything special for my class to do in the afternoon. Now remember, getting out and about is such a treat. 
Getting out and about is such a treat. Well, I can't take the whole class out and about today, but I can go out and bring a treat back for them. Oh, the class will be back very soon, so it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it, I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong, I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done? Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, sure sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end, because he knows what he should do. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Now for a treat. This is a modern electric train that Raymond works on. It goes very fast because it's driven by electricity. And this is a very old train. It's called a steam train, because steam from hot water makes it chuff, chuff along. <laughs> oh, uh, and uh, that's Raymond on an old bike. Ha. Now for a real treat. I hope Rebecca enjoyed her treat. We'll have lots to tell your dad when we get home today, would not we, Rebecca? I miss you, Daddy. Vicky John, come on, we. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Yes. Oh, you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying getting out and about is such a treat. Save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now. You'd better be off. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was waving, greeting, hello, meeting, bye-bye, closing, wagging, dozing, eating, sleeping, fetching, sketching, painting, stretching, gluing, chewing, sticking up and wiping round, washing up and slushing down. Then there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shearing, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round. really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed in all sorts of sparkly gems. He really cheered the place up. When Mickey John arrived with Rebecca this morning, the children and I were sorting through a lot of old bits and pieces. Some of them brought back memories. I told Mickey John that I was taking the children along to the Transport Museum in Helen's Bridge. I told him that getting out and about is such a treat. Then we took the train to Helen's Bridge. We rode all the way there in Raymond's Buffy car. He made some of us old-fashioned lemonade. At the Transport Museum, we saw lots of old trains. They were very big. Mickey John got out and about too, so that he could give his class a treat. I hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. Me too! Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Hope. But don't just sit there, darlings. Come on, let's have fun. What's Granny Murray got on her shelf today? Sponges. Sponges. Aprons on first. Now today, we're going to do some fairground pictures. Paint some on the sponge I'll put and then you can make a shape. Who likes going to the fairground? Me, Me too. Well, we
we've got Hope and we've got Rachel. But someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello! Oh, Hello! 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 What do you call a merry-go-round that won't stop? I don't know. What do you call a merry-go-round that won't stop? A merry-go-round and round and round and round. <laughs> oh, Mickey John, that was a good one. <laughs> oh, thanks. I've been trying to make up jokes for Rudy. He's always pestering me for new ones. Oh, yes. Rudy makes me laugh. So I take it you're going to the fair later? Oh, yes. We're going to see some fairground rights. Well, it's all right for some. I'll be busy teaching. You know, I sometimes feel there aren't enough hours in the teacher's day. There's so many fascinating things I want to show the children and sometimes I don't know where to start and where to finish. Why don't you start with the fairground? Oh, there's so many interesting things there about colours and numbers, movement and shapes. <laughs> All in the one place. I hadn't thought about that. Oh, will you look at Claude? He's a comical clown. <laughs> <laughs> What a funny-looking chap you are, Claude. Just like the clown at the fairground. Here you are. Hey, look at this. My very own fairground picture. Thanks, Rebecca. Gorgeous girl. Bye. Hey. A fairground I can carry around with me. <laughs> Come on, then. Now, remember, there's all sorts of things you can learn from the fairground. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. We'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the top. Now splashing, splashing to our stop. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, hurry, hurry. Put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. Right, I better get these worksheets sorted. Knock, knock. Oh, hi, Rudy. Uh, what? Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo. Boo hoo. <laughs> There's no need to cry. It's only a joke. <laughs> so, have you got any jokes for me then? Uh, I might do, but I can't tell them to you just now. We have to be serious. The children will be here in a moment, and there's so much I want to get through. But there's always time for a little laughter. We'll have to save the jokes for later. Nine o'clock, and here come the children. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That's it, sir. Get yourself settled. Come on then. Rudy, I'm very busy. Is there anything you particularly wanted? I wanted to show you these. Lolly sticks? A regular customer of mine gave me his collection. Why would someone give you a collection of lolly sticks? <gasps> because each lolly stick has got a joke on it. Oh, brilliant. I wondered if I brought them in whether you could tell me what the jokes are. By all means. I'll tell you what, bring these round to me later and we'll have our own joke party. Good idea. I'll see you later. OK, right then. Who's bright-eyed, bushy-tailed and ready for the day? Me! Brilliant, right. Now, I want you to take a look at the questions on your worksheets. They're all about counting coconuts today, and I want you to try and answer them. I wonder what Rebecca's up to. I love to skip in river sea thing, river sea thing, go by the sea. I 
love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, good get out of Becca. <laughs> what about the roundabout? Will we give somebody a shot? La 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 la. Do you want to do it? Oh, well done. Well, we'll have great fun at the fair today too, won't we? It's a shame Dad will not be able to go, but we'll tell him all about it. What are you doing now, Daddy? Right, let's see how you're getting on. Oh dear, that's a big yawn, Emma. Hmm, you're all looking a little bit floppy. Oh, Bobby, come here. Hiya, is everything all right? I, I got so much I want to teach the class today, but we have to be zinging and alert. Well, I don't think there's enough room in here to do any gymnastics. Well, how about doing some movements we can do sitting down? Oh, I like that idea. Ah. Uh, Bobby's going to do some exercises with us. So if you can all put your pencils down and look over here. What about doing some fairground movements? <gasps> OK. Right. So I want everyone to imagine that you're at a fairground. And the first thing we're going to do is get in a dodge So get yourself comfy. Put your seatbelt on and get your hands on the wheel. Are you ready to go? Yeah. yeah. OK. <gasps> Gently does it to start off with. But, oh my goodness me, someone's coming straight for you. So you're going to have to turn the wheel. Turn the wheel, that's it. Put your brakes on. Uh-oh, uh -oh. we've stopped. Good, because we've got time to go on another ride. The merry-go-round. OK, everyone, stretch your fingers out. We're going to start off going round in little circles, because merry-go-rounds go round and round, and they get bigger and bigger, and some merry-go-rounds go really, really fast, so you can go even faster. Woo! OK, time to slow down. And stop. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thanks for livening us up. That was great fun. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye. Right, I'd better get to work. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day. Teaching to count and teaching to read Learn about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away Oh, the secretary smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps us shining Oh, what? Joy when I go to school in the morning. Holding the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves a stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day, work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look. Their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. Right, I think that's all the worksheets. Oh, 12 o'clock. Have a good lunch, everyone. Don't keep the dinner ladies waiting. Oh, knock, knock. Who's there? Al! Al who? I'll give you a big kiss if you open the door. <laughs> I opened a sloppy one there, my favourite. <laughs> I've got something better than a sloppy kiss to show you. A collection of lolly sticks. I bet you there's some great jokes on these. Ah, let's see. Where does a king keep his armies? Oh, I don't know. Where does a king keep his armies? Up his sleeveys! <laughs> Get it? Oh, oh, sleeves. Sleeves. <laughs> <laughs> I love a good joke. <laughs> oh, me too. But I really must get on with planning my lesson for this afternoon. We're going to be learning all about shapes. All right. I'll leave you to it, but I'll see you later for more jokes. <laughs> oh, me sleeves. <laughs> Look at all these sticky shapes. Triangles. 
Squares. And circles. <laughs> I wonder if Rebecca's at the fairground yet. You had a tasty lunch. That's it, get yourself settled and sorted. Now, we're going to be thinking about shapes this afternoon. So I've put lots of sticky shapes on your tables. And what I want you to do is sort them out for me and then stick them in your books. Psst. Hi, Rudy. What is it? Have you got time for one more joke? <sighs> okay, then. Just one. <laughs> what kind of button can't be unbuttoned? Oh. I don't know what kind of button can't be unbuttoned. A belly button. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Rudy, I better get on. Okay, hey, what are your class up to? They seem quiet as mice. Well, we're just doing a bit of work on shapes at the moment and then... Oh dear, I've been so busy telling jokes I haven't prepared anything for later. Where did the time go? At eight o'clock, I went to Granny Murray's to drop off Rebecca. The children were painting fairground pictures and they dressed Claude up as a clown. At nine o'clock, I got to work. Rudy dropped by to tell me some jokes and show me his lolly stick collection just as the children arrived for class. At ten o'clock, I noticed that my class were looking rather floppy, so I asked Bobby if she could liven us up with some fairground exercises. At twelve o'clock, the children went to lunch and I told Rudy some of the lolly stick jokes. At one o'clock, the children came back from lunch and as they were doing their shapes activity, I told Rudy even more lolly stick jokes. Then I realised I'd been so busy telling jokes, I hadn't planned anything to do with the class. Now remember, there's all sorts of things you can learn from the fairground. That's right. There's lots you can learn from the fairground. You can learn about colours and movement and numbers and shapes. Rudy, I need the lolly sticks. But it's no joke. It's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's as sure as we are friends, he will get there in the end Because he knows what he should do I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Okay, children, take a look at this great fairground picture and let's see what we can learn. Now, how many coconuts can you see here? One, two, three, four. That's right, there's five coconuts. Oh, look, what do we call this over here? A merry-go-round. That's right. Now, what shape's this here? A triangle. That's right, it's a triangle. Oh, and what's this thing up here? A wheel. It's a big wheel, isn't it? And, and how does the big wheel move? Well, it goes round and round. Oh, it makes you feel a bit seasick, maybe. <laughs> now, what colour is this dodge germ? Pink. That's right. So, as you can see from this fairground mural, there's lots you can learn from the fairground. Yes! I bet Rebecca would love this fairground. Woo! That's amazing, isn't it, Rebecca? I keep waiting on them to pop, but they never do. <laughs> oh, I think your dad would be good at making balloons pop. Mm, look at these flowers, gorgeous. Oh, what do you say, darling? Thank you. Good girl, that's beautiful, thank you. Mickey John. Hi, Granny Murray. Ha ha, come oh. away through. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Hey, have you had a lovely time? Yeah. You bet we have. 
Say thank you to Granny Murray. Oh, a big ghetto. Oh, clever ghetto. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying there's all sorts of things that you can learn from the fairground. Save the day. Well, I never did. <laughs> Come on, let's get you home. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too. Well, there was playing, running, creeping, jumping, chasing, painting, laughing, digging, bathing, dressing, singing, swinging, walking, sliding, hunting, hiding, jumping up and turning round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, the children dressed Claude up as a clown with baggy trousers and a big red nose. Rebecca's made a model playground out of bits and bobs from the recycling box. Seeing their roundabout got me right in the mood for the merry-go-round at the fun fair. It wasn't long before we were actually at the fun fair. It was so exciting. And all the time Mickey John was teaching his class lots of things about the fairground too. <laughs> Do you think I look cheeky with a clown nose? <laughs> me too. Bye bye honey pie. Hello, honey pie. Come away in and see who's at home today. Granny Murray's house has two at home to play. Granny Murray's house is home too. Who's here today? Well, we've got Rachel and we've got Sean. But don't just sit there, pickles. Come on, let's get busy. We are going to play the underground train game. The train is going to stop at the castle. Choo -choo. Bridge. Choo -choo. Well, we've got Sean and we've got Rachel, but someone's missing from home today. Oh, not anymore. Who's coming home to Granny Murray? Oh, yes, it's Rebecca with Mickey John. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, Mickey John. Running around. <laughs> oh, well, we'll be playing a sort of underground train game. <laughs> you see, these are all the different stops on the River Sea Fingal Underground. Oh, amazing. I love maps. I can look at them all day. You know, I sometimes snuggle up in bed with a nice map. Oh, well, now Rebecca's here. We'll do something new. Since we're going on an underground train later, let's dress Claude up as an underground train driver. <laughs> and we can squeeze on down and take a seat, Mickey John. Oh, Come nice. on. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, back. My goodness. Me. Oh, oh, mind the gap. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you like maps? Oh, absolutely. All sorts of maps. You know, last week I found a fantastic old map of Riversea Fingal. Oh, did the city look different? Too, right. It showed how Riversea Fingal looked a long, long time ago, before my school was even built. Fancy that! Do you know, talking of a long time ago, I was going to take the children to see something I remember from a long time ago. It's called the Camera Obscura. Oh, it's incredible! You can see the whole city! Well, I know! I remember going to see it when I was a little girl and I thought it was fascinating. The only trouble is I'm not sure how to explain how it works to the children. It's fairly simple really. You see, it's all to do with the way the different uh, mirrors shine onto the convex lens. Oh, stop! Stop! I don't really want to know how it works. <laughs> well, just take the children and let them see for themselves. Oh, well, looks like your underground driver is ready to take you there. Good old Claude. <laughs> oh, very smart. Oh. <laughs> Mind the doors. <laughs> well, I better be going. Daddy. Oh, it's an underground map of Riversea Fingal. Thanks, Rebecca. Ah, oh, have fun at the camera obscura. <laughs> Bye then. Come on. Now remember, let them see for themselves. Thank you, Granny Murray. I'll see you later. Bye bye, my darling. We'll be thinking of you. Me too. You keep a wee eye on Mickey John, make sure he goes the right way to work. I'm on my way to work today Walking my shoes through the city views Stepping along and swinging my arms Singing my way through the city's charms Getting there is 
just so fine I so enjoy my walking time I always go the way I know Can you show me the way I go? Okay, which way? Do I go left now? Do I go right? Which way is wrong now? Which way is right? Right! Okay, right, to the school. I'm on my way to work today. Look in this way and that away. Hello, Ali. Hello, doors. Hello, steeple. Hello, walls. Hello, people. Do I go up now? Do I go down? Which way's a smile now? Which way's a frown? Up! Okay, that way. Up! You told me the way to go. Thank you. You showed me the way I know. Thanks for that. Now, what have I got to do? That's right. Time for the tie. All dressed and ready to go. I'm really looking forward to today's lesson. All right, Mickey John. Oh, hi, Bobby. Listen, have you got a mat I can borrow? I certainly have. I've got loads of them. In fact, that's exactly what I'm teaching a lesson about today. See? Loads of different maps. Look, we've got uh, road maps, map of countries, map of the world. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for a map. I asked for a mat. It's for the gymnastics display that I'm teaching to some of the classes later on. I'm sorry, Bobby. I got maps on the brain today. Here, hang on. I got just the thing in my cupboard. Ah. Will this do? Perfect. Thanks, Mickey John. I'll bring it back later. <laughs> I wonder if you're on your way to the camera obscura yet, Bex. I love to skip in rivers. What are you doing now, Daddy? Oh, goodness, the school bell. Oh, I better clear these maps away. Don't want to spoil the surprise. Mohammed? Here. Leanne? Here. Monica? Here. And Ifra? Here. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Messi and John. Right, I've got something exciting to show you today. In fact, something really exciting. In fact, something absolutely incredible. But uh, I've hidden it away for now. Aww. Because first, we have to get down to some hard work. Oh, oh, oh. With joy when I go to school in the morning Teaching with my chums and see the children learning School day, work away I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching School day, work away Teaching to count and teaching to read Learn about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score Secretary smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps us shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue While the cookie cooks and serves a stew Answering the questions where and why How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, 
learning when I'm teaching. He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching. School day work away. All the children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, what joy when I go to school in the morning. Well done, everyone. You've all worked really hard this morning. So now I'm going to give you that special treat I told you all about earlier. I'm going to tell you all about... <laughs> maps! Oh. Now, maps can tell you loads of things. And this is a brilliant map. This is a map of Fingal Hill. And you can see the whole city from the top of this hill. And there's the path that goes all the way down the mountain. And look at these lines here. These are called contour lines, and they show the shape of the hill. Now, isn't that fascinating? You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Not to worry, because I'm going to be talking a lot more about maps this afternoon. Now, isn't that exciting? Oh. Oh, lunchtime. Off you go. That's funny. My class don't seem very interested in my map. Oh, well, hopefully Rebecca's a bit more enthusiastic about the camera obscura. <laughs> Tower on Skewer. Oh, it's so exciting. We're in for a real treat. Look! You can see the whole of River Sea Fingal. The people, the cars. Oh, so alive and busy. Oh, look, dumplings. Do you like the Cabin Obscura? Yeah. It's fabulous, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Rebecca, your dad would love it here, wouldn't he? Yeah. I'm thinking of you, Daddy. Began, I brought back your map. Eh? Oh, the mat. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry about the mix-up earlier. <laughs> How did your gym class go? Oh, um, brilliantly. Children loved it when I did a backflip. They were really interested. Oh, I wish my class were interested in what I was telling them about this morning. Oh, what was that? Maps. They're fascinating. Take this map of Fingal Hill, for example. It's incredible. Look, you can see the path marked. Right. And what are all those squiggly lines? They're called contour lines. They show you the shape of the hill. When they're close together, that means the hill is very steep. But uh, when they're a bit further apart, that means the hill is not so steep. Now, you have to admit that is incredibly interesting. Well, for you, maybe, but I don't really see it. Anyway. Thanks for the mat. I'll catch you later. Oh. What's wrong with everyone? I love maps, but nobody else seems to. Why is no one else as excited as me? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. They were using a map to play the underground game. So the children dressed Claude as an underground train driver. Granny Murray told me she was taking the children to the camera obscura. I began to explain how it works, but Granny Murray found me a bit complicated. At eight o'clock, I got to work. Bobby popped in and I thought she wanted to borrow a map. But I heard wrong. She didn't want a map. She wanted a mat for her gym class demonstration. At nine o'clock, the bell went, and my class came in, and I told them I had a treat in store for them. At 11 o'clock, it was treat time. I showed them my map of Fingal Hill with its amazing contour lines. But the class just looked bored. At 12 o'clock, Bobby wasn't interested in the map either. She said she couldn't see what I was talking about. How can I make my map more interesting for my class? Now remember, let them see for themselves. Hmm. Let them see for themselves. Of course, the children can't get excited about the map because they don't know what it's a picture of. So I have to show them that the map is really a picture of a real hill. It's a race against time! I gotta do it, I gotta do it I gotta beat the clock before the chime I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it I gotta do the job on time Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? I'm gonna do it. 
Keep the clock before the chime. I'm going to sort it. He's going to start it. I'm going to do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm going to beat that bomb. I'm going to finish this job before I finish this song. Right, class. I hope you all had a nice lunch and are ready to hear a lot more about maps. Oh, don't worry. I've got a brilliant way to make it much more interesting this time. So, I've made a model of how Fingal Hill looks in real life. You can see that the hill is very steep here, but not so steep here. And look at these lines here. When the lines are very close together, that means the hill is very steep. But when they're further apart, it means it's not so steep. Now, isn't that exciting? Yeah! Hello, look! Aha! Here's a little railway train. Hey! Going through the mountain. And it'll go through and round the other side. Ah! Oh, I wonder what you're up to, Rebecca. <laughs> Okay, right, stop. Get up. Wait there. Get up. Get up. And up this way, everyone. Both in Granny Murray's hands. I miss you, Daddy. Becky, John, come away. You. Look who's here, Rebecca. Hello, beautiful girl. Hey, how are you, my friend? Have you had a lovely time? Oh, you oh. bet we have, eh? Say thank you to Granny Murray. Come here, my darling. Oh, good girl. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying, let them see for themselves, save the day. Well, I never did. Come on now, you'd better be off. Eh? Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca. Let's chat about our time away. And I suppose you want me to tell you all about my time too? Well, there was hugging, squishing, walking, pushing, dancing, dusting, shading, choosing, talking, cooking, drying, cleaning, saving, cleaning, loving, joking, losing things and rushing round, dressing up and sitting down. <sighs> but what was really special about today? Well, Claude was dressed as an underground train driver because we were going on an underground train later. Mickey John dropped off Rebecca and told me how he loved maps. And when I told him we were going to the Camera Obscura, he tried to explain how they work. Oh, I didn't understand a word he said. The underground train was very exciting and very noisy. The Camera Obscura looked amazing. We saw a bird's eye view of the city reflected onto a table. It looked magic. When Mickey John came to pick up Rebecca, he said he was glad he had remembered to let his class see for themselves. It made his map lesson much more interesting. So today, everyone could see for themselves. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Me too. Bye-bye, honey pie. I love to sit in the river, see things